Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at a car charger that takes your cigarette lighter in your car and turns it into a multi-port car charger, a lot with multiple USB ports also. Now, you may call this a cigarette lighter like I did, or charger, because when I was a kid, that's what they were primarily used for, lighting cigarettes. But I know now there's a lot of different names out there, aux ports and more. Let me know, what do you call auxiliary charger? Those little round charger ports in your car. Leave me a comment. Do you still call them a cigarette lighter? Love to hear from you. Now, this is really meant for people who need a lot of power in their car and a lot of power ports. On end, even if you already have some USB ports, you may want to consider this charger because it does offer some benefits that most USB ports in your cars today do not offer. Now, we'll be breaking down the pros and cons of this. This was a review unit, though. I was sent this out here as a review unit. Thank you to the company who did that. They don't get to see this video before it goes live, so they're seeing it when you see it also, so they have no feedback on this video. And if you want to find out current pricing, I will put a link to this on Amazon. Pricing changes so rapidly, I hate to give pricing here because it changes often, often before I even post this video. So I'll put a link to it in the first pinned comment down below and in the show notes to Amazon where you can find the current um, uh, price there and some additional details if you're looking for any specs with it. Also, before we start this video, if you could help us grow this channel, very close to 10,000 subscribers, almost there, want your support, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So hopefully they recommend our videos to more people. By hitting that subscribe button, by hitting that thumbs up, doing one or both, lets YouTube know to recommend our videos to more people. With that said, let's dive into it. Now, we'll show this in action, but let's quickly kind of break down everything with it. Now, you do have the part that goes in your car to charge right here. On the back here, you do get two cigarette lighters, I'm going to call them because that's what I grew up with, two standard USBs and a USB-C for very rapid charging, a 20-watt USB-C, which is really nice. Um, on the top here, you do have the ability to independently disable the left and right ports here. And when they're powered, there is a blue little light here that indicates that they're on or off. You'll see that in a minute when I show you it working in the car. Overall though, pretty straightforward. You're able to do five devices at once, two of these cigarette lighters, one with the USB-C, and then two USB, which allows you to charge quite a bit of devices, ability to independently turn it on and off. Now, one other feature I almost forgot real quick, Come on, focus. Is this is 140? Um, I mean, 180 watts. All right, there according to this, and it does have a fuse right here. So this does have a built-in fuse, to prevent you from damaging your car. And if you need to replace it, it's very easy access to replace the fuse right there. If you somehow overload this, now a few things with this right off the bat. Uh, the fastest charger on here for your cell phone is a 20 watt. For most cell phones on the market, that is a max charge. There are a few very high-end phones like the Pixel 6 Pro, iPhone 13 Max. They do go slightly faster than that, but for both those phones, this will qualify as a rapid charge. Most phones on the market, that will be a max charge through the USB-C on that. So you'll be able to get um, your maximum charge for most phones on the market right now. I do know some phones are coming out with even faster chargers. I'll be honest, you know, with battery tech where it is, most phone manufacturers are trying to help you get more battery life by ramping up the speed of charging your phone with a higher wattage. Most cars only are like five, maybe a 15 watt charger. Not taking the full advantage of the ability of many phones on the market today to go up to 20 or more watts for a far faster charge. Having a device like this allows you to go and get more charges with it, a uh, faster rate, I should say. So you hop in your car, you're going for a quick trip, you can significantly charge your phone far faster with a device like this than most standard USB ports and cars. I do know some high-end new cars are coming out with USB-C and other features in the 2021, 2022 models. But overall, most cars on the market that have USBs are still standard USB ports, maybe five to 15 watts if you're lucky not getting that rapid charge you'll get with a device like this. I actually have something like this in my car all the time to get that rapid charge. I'm a very heavy phone user. Most of my work is done on the phone. It allows me to do that. So keep that all in mind. But I am very, very happy with this device overall. It does what it says it's going to do, charges my devices. I was able to run a Garmin camera slash GPS. I do have a camera in my car that records four at all times. It built in my Garmin GPS charge my phone and other devices with this all at once. Was well, very happy. I kind of like the ability to independently shut on and off devices on both sides, which is nice. So if I want to run my Garmin, but 
I don't want to run another, maybe another port for a little fridge in my car or something, I can flip them back and forth on that. Now remember there is 180 watt um, max here, 12 to 24 volt um, with that. It's pretty nice overall, I think for most devices you're gonna be able to get what you want. Most people today are probably just looking at this for maybe a GPS unit and charging some cell phones. This is excellent for that and you still get the ability to have those ports, those cigarette lighters, let me know what you call them, here with it on that. Like I said though, why would you want this versus uh, your car USB? Is because it's a far faster charge than most cars offer. And if you're somebody like me who is constantly on their phone, a heavy drain, heavy user, you definitely want a device like this that can easily rapid charge your device. Hey, I'm a salesman, I was a salesman for a very long time, going between appointment and appointment when I get there, I'm using my phone to display videos, project onto a, a display, you know, answer phone calls, send emails, whatever it may be. Later when I was a reporter, shooting video, editing video, and more on the go, I really use up the uh, power on my phone pretty quick. The ability to jump in here and charge it rapidly is really nice. So two thumbs up to do that and to offer a lot of ports in a car. So if you're like me, have a family, two kids, a spouse, whatever it may be for you, more ports always the better. So with that said, two thumbs up. This does what it says it's going to do, does it very well. The rapid charge is nice and the price point is good. I would say it's a competitively priced device. If you want to find out current pricing, I'll put a link to it in the show. It's down on Amazon and in the first pinned comment there. Do me a big favor, help us grow this channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Now with that said, thanks for your support. We'll be back with another video real soon.